You know, I really love zombie movies. <laughs> I like the good ones, the, the funny ones, the cheesy ones, sometimes even the bad ones. So how about Hell of the Living Dead? It's an uh, Italian zombie movie directed by Bruno Mattei or something in 1980. And man, this movie, that, there's just so much stu- Hey man, come with my beats drinken. Dude, I'm in the middle of recording. Waarom praat je Engels? Because not everybody understands Dutch. Okay. Okay, prima. Do you want to watch a crappy zombie movie? Good. Anyway, as I was saying, there's just so much stupid shit going on in this movie. Uh, we're just going to watch the movie and try to give you a good impression of that. So, the movie starts off in some sort of chemical factory, I guess, with big fancy computers. <laughs> wow. And by some of the first dialogue, we already know that this is going to be a bad movie. You may not know much about chemistry, but in bed her reactions are terrific. I'm not surprised with that cute little lass. <laughs> I'm a tit man myself. <laughs> so anyway, of course, <laughs> something goes wrong. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, but, but the other guy is like, meh. <laughs> So, total panic, of course. Nobody answers. We better stop that leak or we'll all be dead. <laughs> yeah, really convincing. So they go and take a look for uh, what went wrong, and then... Oh, oh shit, it's a zombie! Huh. Again, the rest of the men aren't that impressed. So, blah blah blah. And this one guy, he escapes, and he makes a report. Experimental project operation Sweet Death must be considered a complete failure. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. Maybe you should have given it another name. So, after that, we go to a new scene about a police or military team who are surrounding a building with hostage takers. This has nothing to do with the previous scene, and as it turns out, it has virtually nothing to do with the whole movie, except introducing these four cool military guys. So let's skip it, except for how they solve the hostage problem. <laughs> yeah, just kill all the bad guys. I love it how the blood was already on the shirt. It's a cool movie, right? So the, the four guys, they go on a vacation to this island or something, but, but they're still wearing their uniforms. So it's probably for work, not a vacation at all. Um, and there are also some other people, a, a couple and a journalist. Yeah, looks really professional. And of course, everything goes wrong. Oh no! This place is invaded by zombies! <laughs> but of course, there is still room for some bad and stupid dialogue. They look like monsters. They could be drunk. No, hold it. That's not polite. I get the first shot! By the way, Jeff, do you know how to kill a zombie? Shoot him in the head, right? Fortunately, they too find this out. All you have to do is shoot it right through the head. Well, he didn't really do that, no, did he? But anyway, so blah blah blah, and then they go to this tribe. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but it's funny, because they use these, these super obvious stock footage, which has nothing to do with the movie and adds nothing at all. So the journalist chick, she goes to the tribe to win their confidence. <laughs> Naked, of course. Yeah, and then, then we got all this, this Mondo King kind of stock footage. I, I don't want to see that. But, but then it gets funny again when they try to match up to the stock footage <laughs> and fail miserably. Really a great movie. <laughs> so, yeah, they win their confidence, but <laughs> it wouldn't be a hell of the living dead if something didn't go wrong. Oh. <laughs> And it also wouldn't be a hell of the living dead if the chaos didn't come paired with crappy effects. Fortunately, they get away. But then an argument arises between the journalist duo and the military man. Son of a bitch, I'll show you! Yeah! <laughs> and but in the next scene, it's, it's all good again, doesn't matter. And, and that's when I'm really starting to lose the plot. Uh, you got some more zombie action and, and some boring bullshit politics which looks like even more stock footage but then dubbed over. Ladies and gentlemen, please. There's another serious problem we have to discuss. 
And, and after all that, they arrive at a big house for more stupid scenes. Most notably this scene in which one of the soldiers put on a dress or how you call it and starts dancing and then he's surprised by the zombies in the room which he could have seen way before they walked into the frame. Well, there's one last big scene left. Should we just watch it really quick? Sure. Okay, so after all the excitement in the big house, the survivors end up in the, the factory from the beginning of the movie. Wow, yeah, so, okay, well, let's skip to the, the good parts. Well, the good parts. Um, because, of course, more zombies over here. So they, they kill this guy. And then they kill this guy, and oh, it, it, it's, so, it's, it's so stupid, I mean, he has a gun and... So, so then they find some, some shit, some evidence, I guess, and they put all the pieces together. On an island, isolated and remote, it all begins to make sense. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. Can piece together. I think I've seen enough, man. <laughs> I understand. I, I go go. Yeah, it's, it's cool, man. I'll just watch it the last minutes, I guess. <laughs> So the whole factory fills up with zombies, and we get some of the worst special effects ever. <laughs> and after that, uh, just one last stupid scene that no one at this point cares about anymore. Oh well, that explains a lot.